Hi, Lon Naylor here, and today we're going to review an online tool that can help us get more traffic, views, eyeballs, and clicks for our YouTube videos. It's called Thumbnail Blaster. Check it out at the link below. And spoiler alert, I love this tool and I'm highly recommending it if you have or if you want to have any kind of success with using and growing a YouTube channel. So here's the thing. I have good friends who are top YouTube authorities like Brian G. Johnson, Nick Nimmin, and others who all say pretty much the same thing. One of the best things you can do to grow your YouTube channel is to have great thumbnails. Think about it. People search on YouTube for content and are presented with those search results, each of which has a thumbnail image. The not very well kept secret to more clicks, views, likes, shares, all that good stuff is being the video that gets chosen from those results. And which video do we usually choose? The one with the most enticing and attractive thumbnail. Here's the problem. Making great thumbnails is kind of a pain. There are about a dozen ways to make them like Photoshop or Canva. I actually use PowerPoint with some pretty good results, but the issue isn't always so much the tool as it is coming up with a design. So right off the bat, one of the things I like about Thumbnail Blaster is about a hundred really good looking templates that we can use instead of staring at a blank canvas in the other tools. Let's log in and take a look around. Thumbnail Blaster integrates directly with YouTube and does some pretty cool stuff that we'll get to in a minute. Connecting your YouTube accounts is really too simple to even spend time on. Just click the Add YouTube Account button, follow the prompts, pick your channels, authorize the app, and boom, you're all set. The help videos are actually quite good and have a full set of training videos included. Once you're all connected, that's where the coolness ensues. Let's jump to the thumbnail creator, and here I can see all of the videos on whatever YouTube channel I have selected. You can do some filtering and things like that, show only videos with specific keywords, kind of handy. And frankly, I'm not totally unhappy with all of my thumbnails because I've spent quite a bit of time working on them because I know they're so important. Like I mentioned, I've basically just been using PowerPoint for this, which is okay. Maybe you use some other tool as well. But certainly out of 353 videos, I do have some thumbnails that probably could use a little work. Maybe I was busy, I didn't really take any time to get them going. I think what I'm going to do is use this tool in conjunction with my YouTube analytics to start to improve things like my click-through rate. So on my channel, I have some videos that are really quite good as far as content goes, but the thumbnails are probably one of those that are lacking. Here's that video right here. So I'm going to click yes to select this particular video and then go to next step. And here we can see all of the templates that are available. I think there's a little over a hundred of them. And as you can see, they look really good. These are the kinds of thumbnails that the pros use and they certainly have a lot of clickability to them. Some of the things I look for in a thumbnail are how big and bold and catchy is the text and also the image. So something like this, for example, I love this text. I like the text on this thumbnail, so let's go ahead and use this one. Now since we're connected to YouTube, it actually will pull in my existing thumbnail and put it as a background. Plus, you'll notice it grabbed the headline and started to put it in as text. The editor is really simple, clean, and has a lot of good functionality to it. Lots of big bold fonts. And to modify the text, just click on the element and enter it in over here. Resize and reposition. I think we'll get rid of this gal here. And I think for the background on this one, I'm going to lower the opacity just to make it a little less pronounced. The nice thing about this as a thumbnail editor is that we also have access to a whole bunch of interesting shapes, images, and elements that we can use. 
You can upload your own images, pick from a pretty good library of stuff inside Thumbnail Blaster, and very nice, you can also search on Pixabay for certain images. I'm going to grab an image from my system, click on it, and square it up. Let's click on this text and go down to the Layers tool. Bring this to the front. I think I'll make this just a little bit smaller. And there we go. Let's save and continue. I think this looks a lot better than the one I had before, so I'm going to hit Publish. The video that I'm working on has already been selected, so I'm just going to publish. And Thumbnail Blaster uploads it right to my YouTube channel. And there it is. I'm also going to go ahead and save this as a JPEG. You can also start with no video if you want to just pick a template and go ahead and modify it to upload to YouTube. Or you can start completely from scratch. Here's kind of an added little trick. I'm going to go ahead and go to the shapes and cut out hands. These are transparent images that are actually kind of cool. So I'm going to pick one, put it on the thumbnail, make it kind of big, give the template a name, hit save and continue, and then I'm going to save this as a PNG. Once that's done, I have an asset that I can actually use in other applications like PowerPoint. Could also use it in Camtasia. Pretty sweet. One feature I'm really excited to start testing is the split test feature. If the goal is to get the click, then being able to run a split test between two thumbnails and see which one gets more clicks, this is going to be really interesting. I'm going to start a new split test, select a video, it will pull in the thumbnail, and for this one, I created and saved a JPEG from Thumbnail Blaster. I'm going to go ahead and let this run for oh, a little while and add the split test. So at the end of the time period, it will go ahead and tell me which thumbnail gets the most clicks. Here's a couple extra tips for you. Let's go back to the thumbnail creator. And one of the things you'll notice is that people in thumbnails tend to work really well. People kind of connect and identify with a person, and they tend to get a lot more clicks. The thing is, we'll see with these, is that almost all of these people images are transparent images. That's what makes them stand out so well and give a good contrast between themselves and the background. This isn't just a regular JPEG image. It's a PNG with transparency. So those are the kinds of images we want. And yes, Thumbnail Blaster has a little bit of a library of these kinds of people that we can use. You can go and find libraries from other sources, but here's one of my favorite things, is to go to remove.bg. This is a free online tool that you can go ahead and select an image. I'm gonna go to my pictures folder, and since it's my YouTube channel, I want to have these kinds of images of me. So here's a picture. I'm going to open it up. And remove.bg is going to do an absolutely superb job of removing the background and giving me an image that I can then go ahead and use in my thumbnails. Very impressive. You can use the tool for free with regular resolution images, or you can pay just a little bit and get high-res images. For the most part, I find these work just fine. You can also now do it with product images. Great tool and resource. And here I've used it in several thumbnails that I'm working on. You can also find images on Pixabay, which is where this handsome dude comes from, and remove the backgrounds of those images as well, creating your own little library of transparent images. Another great resource for cool stuff you can use in thumbnails is Presenter Media. I'll put a link to that below for you. And here you'll find thousands and thousands of very eye-catching 
and clickbait worthy images that you can create including stuff that you can customize. I'm highly recommending Thumbnail Blaster especially during the launch period. Thumbnails really are that important in YouTube and being the clickable one is absolutely where we want to be. It really is easy to use. I love the drag and drop simplicity and all of the design elements that come with it basically give us a toolkit that we can create very interesting and compelling thumbnails for our videos. Plus there are also bonuses included of course during the launch. Check out the page for all the details. The launch offer does have a couple of upgrades available. The first one being the Pro Upgrade. This lets you have multiple YouTube accounts, an extended license, and most importantly the ability to save your own templates to reuse later. The next upgrade is an agency license where you can create thumbnails for clients. There's also a monthly template club with fresh new templates every month and also another piece of good software called Lingo Blaster which will translate your video titles and descriptions into a bunch of different languages. Like I say, I'm a big fan of this tool and I already know that it's going to make my top list of resources for 2019. Pick up your copy now while it's on launch special. It is a no-brainer kind of a deal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.